Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Do The Work. Here we're going to cover question 40 of the math proficiency test for teachers in Ontario. It's a test that teachers now have to pass in order to get certified. And I know some of you need help with this, so that's why I'm doing the channel. We have a recipe calls for 400 grams of onions, 60 milligrams of spices. Olga changes the recipe. She uses three quarters of the amount of onions and she increases the um, increases the amount of spice by 18 percent what quantities of onions and spice are in olga's recipe so in other words we need to just say that the calculate the amount that she uses given that she used three quarters the onions and increases it by 18 percent so i encourage you to try this problem by yourself given what we've learned together so far you should be able to do this or at least give it a good attempt that way you'll learn more from just watching the video. So the first step to solving any problems is to understand the stuff we need to know. We need to understand how to convert a percent to a decimal and a fraction, but also how to use percentages and fractions here. Multiplying fractions, we need to know that. We need to know how to multiply by percentage. So I'll just give you a little example. If we have a shirt that costs $10, and there's 13% tax. Well, then the question is how much would the shirt cost after tax? Well, what you do is you do 10 times 1.13, and that's gonna give you $11.30. And $11 now, why do we do times 1.13? It's because if we just do times 0 0.13, we're just gonna get uh, one a dollar and thirty cents, which is the amount of tax, but it's not the total amount after tax. Because if we do ten times one, or ten, you can kind of think about it this way: it's uh, plus times one plus zero point thirteen. That that this distributes the one, so we get ten dollars, and then this gives you your one dollar and thirty cents. So that's why we multiply it this way. So that's just kind of the theory behind the question. And then we need to know how to multiply it by a fraction because we use three quarters of 400 grams. So I'll do step one here. That would be the onions. Of in mathematics means multiplication. By means division. So three quarters of 400 gram or if you, uh, 400 grams divided by two or something like that, or two by four, that'd be two divided by four. So by is a division, of is a multiplication. So really what we do is we just do the math here. We have three quarters times 400. And then the way we do uh, fraction multiplication is we just multiply the top and the bottom, but we can simplify first. Here, when we divide by four, when we divide this by four, we get one. When we divide this by four, we get 100. So really what we have is we have three quarters, uh, sorry, this would be three over one times 100, and then it'd be over, over one if you want. So then when we multiply this, we just get 300 grams. And try to think about it. If you have 400 grams, one quarter of that would be 100 grams. So if you have three quarters, you'd have 300 grams. So you can think about it logically as well. These questions for this test are uh, mostly so you can do them without a calculator. So just keep that in mind. Sometimes you do need a calculator. Like in this case, for example, you, you will need a calculator. So Olga increases the amount of spice by 18%. So that's 60 milligrams. I won't write the MGs just so we don't get confused with uh, the variables, but it's times 18% or an increase of 18%. So it needs to be at least 60. That's why there's the one and then plus 18% of 60. So then here is an example where we you would use a calculator. So times 1.18. And that's 70.8 uh, milligrams. 
And let's just try to think about it. What's 10% of 60? That's six milligrams. So it's almost 20%, so it's almost plus 12 milligrams, and then it'd be 72. So yes, that makes sense. 18 is just a little bit under 20%, so 70.8 makes a lot of sense. So if we look at our answers, we have 300 grams for the onions. So just by doing three, uh, the 300, we'd be left, we can cross out A and B. We know it's not these ones. So then we only have uh, to look at the other two and we know just intuitively that it's not 60.18 because that's definitely not 18%. But this one checks out. We have that 70.8 milligrams is definitely this one. And we're done. That's it. But after every question, it's always good to ask ourselves why stuff worked, uh, if we could have done it in a better way, and just build intuition in general, go a, a, a step further. So if I ask you, what is the ratio of onions to spice in this recipe? What is the ratio of onions to spice? So we have onions, if I could write it properly, onions to spice. Well, first of all, they need to be in the same units, right? So we have 400 grams to 60 milligrams. So that's not in the same unit, but that, that would be right, correct, uh, technically, because we're including the units, but usually ratios don't include units, it's a fraction. So how many milligrams are in a gram? Well, you can think of it as milligram, mil means 1000 in French. It's like centimeter, cent means 100. So milligram, there's a thousand milligrams per one gram. So I'll just convert that on the side here. We have 60 milligrams. I want grams, so I'm going to convert it. Or maybe I should put grams to, to milligrams, it, it doesn't really matter. So what I'll do here is I'll put grams to milligrams. So we have 400 grams and I want milligrams. So I need to cancel the grams. You can watch the last video as well at the question 39, I talked about unit conversion. So we want to cancel the grams and I want milligrams at the end. So how many milligram is there per one gram? A, th a thousand. So I get 400,000 milligrams, 400,000 milligrams in 400 grams. So we have 400,000 per 60. And if you want an actual ratio, what you could do, and, and that's, that's fine, that's a ratio, but you could do as well you could simplify this ratio, right? You could do divided by 60, and then you, you can cross out one of the tens, and then you can divide by two, divide by two, and then we get four divided by two is two. So it'd be 20,000, and then over three. So that would be your simplified ratio. So you put, 20,000 onions for every three spice. That's one way to think about it. So you, you put a lot more onions than you put spice when, when you're talking in terms of weight. That makes sense just intuitively, right? Like onions have volume and not much taste. Whereas spice, you only put a little bit and it tastes a lot, it, it, although it doesn't have much weight. I hope you, this uh, video helped clarify a, a bunch of concepts for you. And if you've made it this far, that means you're willing to support the channel. So hit the subscribe button, uh, hit the like button, share it, with you, share it with your friends. It's the best way to support it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video of Do The Work.